This is an Arizona's Family News Update. Well, good morning to you. I'm Gina Maravilla, and here are the latest stories that we are following from the Arizona's Family Newsroom. Arizona may finally be turning the corner in the fight against the coronavirus. We are now one of just nine states holding steady or seeing a decline in new cases. But make no mistake, we're not out of the woods by any means. The state added another 3,500 new cases yesterday to our growing total, which could top 150,000 cases today. Arizona has also lost more than 2,900 lives since the pandemic started, and we are learning that a beloved Chandler history teacher and swim coach is among the victims. Carrie Crosswhite also played bagpipes for the Tempe Volunteers in Policing program. He got sick last month and then eventually was put on a ventilator. His loved ones say that he passed away last night. Well, today could be the end of the world. That is if you agree with the beliefs of Lori Vallow and her husband, Chad Daybell, but both will have to try to survive doomsday in jail. The couple is facing charges related to Lori's children, seven-year-old JJ Vallow and 17-year-old Tylee Ryan. The children were found buried on Daybell's Idaho property back in June, months after they disappeared. Vallow is facing two felony charges of conspiracy to destroy or conceal evidence, as well as misdemeanor charges. Yesterday, prosecutors asked the judge to ban members of the media from video recording the upcoming preliminary hearings for the couple. Lori's trial on the misdemeanor charges is set to start in January. Well, police are investigating after two women were caught on surveillance. They were stealing plants from Hash Kitchen. The woman pulled up to a, the restaurant as one of them yanks the plant right out of the dirt. It's believed the women were at the restaurant earlier in the day and got upset about how busy it was inside because of the pandemic. Police are looking into that lead. Who steals a tree? All right, uh, let's get you outside. Uh, 108 for your high today. A slight chance to see some storms, but it looks like we're going to see better chances getting into your Thursday and into your Friday. Temperatures also falling, which is always good news in the summer. 104 Thursday, 101 on Friday, and a high of only 99 degrees. How about that for your Saturday? Wow. Okay, Ian, we'll take it. For even more updates on stories that we are following, you can download our app or you can subscribe to our YouTube and Roku channels. I'm Gina Maravilla. Have a great day.